In this video, you'll learn how to create a table of contents in Beehive using anchor links. An anchor link is an element that links to another location on the same page. If you've ever clicked on a link that resulted in the page scrolling down or going to a different section of the page, you clicked on an anchor link. It's important to note that anchor links only work in select email clients, but in all web browsers. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to create one. First, log into Beehive and go to write and post to create a new post or access a previous one. Once you've populated your posts with sections and components like you usually would, you're ready to add anchor links. The first thing you need to do is determine what parts of your post you actually want to create an anchor for. In this case, I have a post where I'm mentioning four different tools. So what I'll do is I'll send readers to the different sections I've made for each of these tools. To do this, simply hover over the section or text you want to link to or send readers to and click on the icon on the left hand side. Now click on anchor and make sure to toggle on set anchor and give the anchor a name where it says anchor title. Now do this for every other section or text you want to link to. Now when you go to hyperlink something like text or an image, you'll be able to either enter a URL like usual or select an anchor element by selecting on the anchor icon. Once you select this icon, you'll see the names of the anchors you just created. Now simply select the correct anchor you want to link to, and that's about it. Now when a reader clicks on this hyperlink, they'll be directed to wherever the anchor element lives on the page. If you want, you can also create a table of contents, which is just a collection of anchor links. You can create one by typing forward slash on your keyboard and choosing it from the editor menu. Once you select it, you'll see all of your anchor links you previously made automatically populate here. In this table of contents, you'll have the option to hide the table of contents heading, hide individual anchor links, and even edit the names of existing ones. That's it for this tutorial. You can check out more Beehive tutorials on our YouTube channel.